this is Fran with Stampendous, and I want to show you how much fun you might have with this mirror stamping plate. I've used it to create all of these fun uh, little mirror images here, and if you think that looks interesting, keep watching. So when you open up your mirror stamping plate, it's going to be a lot cleaner than this. <laughs> and there's a full sheet of all kinds of tips and ideas and everything. Okay, so um, I'm now going to uh, make a first impression with my stamp uh, using it the, the way that it comes. Let's do that first. And I'm starting out with VersaFine ink and making sure I get it fully inked. Press, and there's my uh, first monkey. Okay, so now we're going to re-ink. Again, I'm using the VersaFine. I'm going to re-ink. And this time I'm going to stamp onto my mirror plate and I'm not pressing too hard. A light touch is good. If I see it's completely inked, looks good. Turn it over, press it down where I want it. And here I'm gonna press a little bit more. And there it is. So yes, it's a little bit lighter. And you'll see that by the time we do our color work, it's even less noticeable. Let me show you um, here cleaning it off. So I generally start with my wet wipe and that's going to take most of it off. That's true of all of these inks that I'm working with today. If you have a little bit more of a smudge than that, you can spritz with water, which I'll do over here to the side. And that should take off the rest of it. You can spritz with alcohol if needed. And in between, you can turn it around and use a different side. So here I'll show you. Okay, so this first one I did with the VersaFine ink. And then just to compare things, um, I did this one with the VersaFine Claire. This is the Nocturne, which works quite nicely. And also, um, other times you might want to use the VersaFine The Morning Mist, which I did on these. And then there's even less of a difference between the two, which is kind of nice. And then this one down here, if you're wanting to do your uh, your Copic markers, then you want to use Memento. Okay, so I had colored the pair of these monkeys earlier using my color pencils, and um, I went over the line so that it would be the more forgiving when I went to cut it out. And um, now with this one, I stamped this one with Memento so that I can use my Copic markers, and I'll uh, line up the colors I'm using here in case you want to try the same. So now I want to show you a tip for how to use your wafer die to cut the mirror image. So if you have a phone, turn on your flashlight and I'll cover it so I don't blind anyone here. You may not be able to see what I can see and but I'm going to turn my die over, put it underneath Perhaps you can see the shadow there. So get it into place and then take some uh, removable tape and press it together where you've lined it up.
I can take a look at it before I remove the tape and it looks pretty good. Check it twice, cut it once, you know how that goes. Okay. Now I want to show you another trick so that when you're using your mirror stamping plate and you're wanting to, and you have a die and you want to cut out something on a dark paper, no light is going to come through this. So let me show you what you need to do instead. I'm going to start by stamping uh, with my VersaFine Claire. And make an impression going the way the stamp is designed. Now I'm going to take my die and I've got two pieces of paper and I'm going to cut both of them. Now I'm going to ink my stamp again and stamp onto the cut piece which I have turned to the mirror position. It is. It needed a clear plate to do that. So there you have another option. So when you have your die, cut two pieces of paper uh, first, and then you can mirror stamp right onto the cutout piece, do your coloring, and have some very fun little monkey pairs when using your mirror stamping plate. So now you can see some ways in which you can use your mirror stamping plate to double all of your stamps. You've got this little monkey, but you've also got him looking the other way and colored all different ways. So have fun with your mirror stamping plate. <laughs>